So how much would you pay for a 50-year-old Mustang? Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry and today I'm going to give you a new episode of Shiny and Chrome, my new series on my favorite movie cars. And I want to talk about a car that was featured in a movie which features probably the first and maybe even the best car chase of all time. Now hopefully some of you guys are thinking about 1968's Bullet, which is a crime thriller starring Steve McQueen where a detective is trying to track down the bad guys who killed his key federal witness, okay? The movie's great. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Steve McQueen is fantastic in it. Uh, you've got Jacqueline Bissett playing his girlfriend, uh, all kinds of other uh, familiar characters and, uh, and people, and it's just, it's just a cool movie. But as good as the movie is, the reality is people pretty much remember it for the car chase that happens halfway. It's through the streets of San Francisco, it was really the first car chase to kind of be executed that way. It's all practical effects, it's not CGI. Um, it may not have some of the same qualities and elements as some of the car chases you see today, but it's very, very raw, it's very, very real, and it's really fantastic. Uh, one kind of interesting thing to note is that they drop the uh, sound, or they, they don't have like soundtrack through the, through the car chase once it gets started. They just drop things out and they just use the engine noise. Steve McQueen also did his own stunts. He drove the car himself throughout the, the, the scene and it was just really, really fantastic. So what are they driving in this? Well, the bad guys are behind the wheel of a Dodge Challenger and Steve McQueen is a Ford guy. He's driving a 1968 Ford Mustang GT, okay? And uh, really kind of iconic. I mean, it's one of these cars that, uh, you know, the Mustang was obviously a classic from its era. And I have, it. it's, it's always gonna be near and dear to my heart. Back in college, I actually had an old 64 and a half Mustang, which didn't have near the power as uh, the GT, uh, but was still a lot of fun to drive and sounded fantastic and looked great. Um, the one that's in Bullet is actually really kind of cool because it's not really dolled up. I mean, they beefed up the suspension and they added some horsepower to kind of give it some performance, but it's kind of this, this dull, grungy green color and, and it's not made up to look like this real, you know, showroom quality thing, but it just sounds incredible. The, the tires squeal, the, the, you know, the, the burning rubber and all that kind of thing. It's just a fantastic scene and it really brings the car out in its absolute best, brings it to life. Uh, if you're a car person, you'd absolutely got to check out Bullet. If you're a car person, there's an excellent chance you've already seen it. Uh, I have to mention that Aside from the great car, Bullet also features one of the great character names of all time. Steve McQueen's character is named Frank Bullet, which is, I just say, the perfect balance of awesome and stupid. Okay, so again, the 1968 Ford Mustang GT, certainly one of the most celebrated cars of all time. Uh, now, a little bit of interesting note, to give you guys a little bit extra information for your time. Uh, the actual car that Steve McQueen drove, well, there were two of them that they actually used for the movie. One of them, a few years ago, turned up in Baja, Mexico. Uh, the other one has been under private ownership for many, many decades and was finally sold at auction earlier this year, this year being 2020, if you're watching this in 2020. And uh, depending on the source you get, it's about three and a half million dollars. So to answer the first question, are you prepared to pay three and a half million dollars for a 50-year-old Mustang? As for me, I wish I could. So what's your favorite muscle car? Leave your answers in the comments below. This has been Movie Reviews by Josh, Shiny and Chrome. Thanks for being here. My name is Josh Terry. I'd love to have you subscribe on your way out. Keep notifications on so you can see my new videos as soon as they're available. Thanks, guys.